I'm Patrick Dean, and I'm the president of McMaster University. That's a really interesting question. I think uh, the most valuable idea is an idea that leads to other ideas. So a single idea in itself becomes just a preconception if you disseminate it widely. But if it's the kind of idea that provokes questions and inspires people to think, then that is the kind of idea I think worth spreading. Well, I think it's unquestionably true. I, I think what people would assume from that, though, is that it's, it's an upsetting thing. The more you study, the more it slips away from you, the less you know. But actually, that's a very invigorating feeling, that sense that well, I thought I understood this. I now realize that for the following reasons, I don't understand it at all. Uh, that's a profound kind of deeper knowledge. So it's actually quite an invigorating thing. Just the same thing. Um, I think, uh, I once gave a talk, which won't be the subject of this talk, but about the mood in which one should teach and be in, a, uh, in the business of education. And I spoke th about the three grammatical moods of the language, the declarative, the, the interrogative, and the subjunctive. And the only one of those I don't like in, in my intellectual life, my work, is the declarative, which is just the stating of fact. The interrogative is great, the world of questions, and, and the subjunctive is the mood of hypothesis. So I, I find it very, very exciting in my work to be uh, working with people who are seeking to advance their thought and our communal way of thinking about certain issues, and who are doing it through questioning, hypothesizing, and speculating. I think that's terribly exciting. Well, when I think about what makes a good idea, I think about the kind of question that is sort of like a corrosive chemical that you, you, you spread or you spray on the world because it, it eats away the surface you begin to see behind it. An analogy, of course, is uh, uh, from, what was that film? The Matrix. The sense that certain questions asked cause the, the, the veneer of reality to fall away and, and you see other issues and other questions worth probing slightly more benign metaphor than corrosive acid. Hmm. Um. Well, yeah. So uh, I often think that uh, public debate, public discourse is, is something that in the 20th, 21st century we, we were in danger of losing that, uh, that approach to ideas in which people felt free to share them and debate them in a respectful manner. And uh, I think what's quite exciting about uh, the TED movement and uh, such, such initiatives is that they provide a new forum for, for public discussion, public debate, and the articulation of interesting ideas, which is, I mean, as, as a university, this is what we, we are most concerned to propagate, but I think through TED there's a mechanism for spreading ideas to an audience that's even broader than any that one might have been able to reach uh, historically. So that is very exciting. I think uh, uh, I ideas are, are wonderful. They, they, uh, the pursuit of ideas is one of the best things that human beings are capable of. And uh, any means by which we can do that uh, is uh, something I would strongly support.